And while the messaging inside the United Center tonight was once again freedom and hope, the refrain on the streets of Chicago again end the war in Gaza now. Protesters again taking to the streets in Union Park tonight. Our Nate Rogers has been standing shoulder to shoulder with those protesters and Chicago police. He joins us now with what was another contentious night. Nate. Yeah, yeah that's right, Scott. Well, Literally, just probably 10 minutes or so, we thought that our live report today would be that this was a conclusion of a peaceful night of protests as we experienced on yesterday. But it appears an earlier protest has now kicked back up, kicked back up here on the city's west side at Union Park. I'm going to step out of the way so you all can see just for yourself. I'm standing on the corner of Ashland and Washington. Again, this is Union Park, um, where many of the protests have originated um, over the last couple of days. What you're seeing right now are about 200 or so um, demonstrators that have gathered. There are probably 200 plus media here as well, but the biggest amount of folks that you're seeing right here, sh Chicago police deployed to this area. We're seeing Chicago police deployed on bike and on foot. Right now, they're trying to get control of this crowd. The protest ended earlier. I say about 8 o'clock. Um, the majority of those demonstrators dispersed. However, there was a small group that stayed behind. I'd say about 100 or so folk. About 20 minutes ago, those folk tried to um, move into the street. They tried to take over the street, but Chicago police were still here. It's created somewhat of a traffic jam here on the city's west side. As you can imagine, much of the uh, many of the guests are leaving the United Center, and so officers right now are um, trying to open back up the street. I think, in fact, they just opened back up the street, but you're seeing several Chicago police officers um, as they're trying to get control of the situation on the other side, well, Rafael Varela, our photographer, is pointing the camera now. You're seeing those demonstrators, some with signs in hand. Um, but at the at the um, the demonstration earlier today, we checked with police. They told us there were no arrests. And so the good news is Chicago police are still here. Um, there are several more police than demonstrators. Um, but the problem is controlling all of the national and international media that are here and really trying to get control of of this crowd. We do know that Top Cop Superintendent Larry Snelling is here as well. The road just opened back up, but again, the problem that they're dealing with out here is that much of the traffic from the United Center is letting out, and it seems that this crowd does not want to let down. Um, I believe there was just a negotiation with police to allow them to just stay in the park right now, but we did see officers in riot gear try to push them back just to get control of them, but I'm counting, um, I'd estimate uh, probably 500 or so Chicago police that are right now trying to get control of this situation. Of course, we're going to continue to monitor this. If anything changes, we'll bring you more updates on air and online. That is the latest here on the city's west side, outside of Union Park. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. Nate, thank you for that update. Night four of the DNC means it's the last opportunity for the coalition to march on the DNC to have their voices heard. Our Casey Cronus is standing by with their message. Casey. Hi, Scott. And just to give you an idea, we are just across the street from where Nate is standing and we'll give you another vantage point because these are some of those coalition members that, as Nate mentioned, have remained here in Union Park. Now, as he also mentioned, this is interesting because delegates are getting out of the United Center. You may see some of them walking across our camera right now. You can see here police are now moving across the street and it appears they did take away a large black flag. And it looks like, actually, if Scott could zoom into that, they are taking someone into custody. Now, this person all night had been carrying a huge black flag. He was, you know, agitating certain members of the, of the crowd throughout the march. And just now, he was standing in the middle of traffic. Police were asking, you know, everybody to move back. Cars were still coming through, though, and uh, it, it does appear they are taking him at least away right now from the group. Um, police on the other side of the street are still holding the line. This is a very, it's a very fluid situation, so let's actually just stay on this for um, a moment here. Um, so there's across the street where the bike officers are kind of holding this line. And that's what's that's what's happening here, Scott. 